In this video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite effect types in the Axe FX3. It's the Plex Verb. Before we get started, here's my clean sound. I'm using the USA Clean Amp, as you can see with the settings there. I really like this amp because it has a lot of clean headroom. It's great for very pristine clean sounds. And I'm running it into an IR I made. This one is up on Axe This is the neck pickup of my PRS SC245. So that is the clean sound, uh, basically no grit on there. When I'm going for these type of ambient sounds, I like a really pristine clean sound. You might like a bit more grit in there, in which case I'd suggest something like the AC20 models because they sound incredible for ambient stuff. Anyway, we've got a Plex delay block dialed up here. What we're going to do is select the Plex verb type and essentially you can get a great ambient reverb straight away if you just turn the mix up on this to around 40% and engage it. It sounds like this. Perfect, right? That's exactly the sort of thing that I want to hear when I'm going for that ambient clean sound. We do have quite a few parameters that we can tweak to really dial this in. As you can see, there's reverb size, decay time, and diffusion. I really like those stock settings, so I'm not going to mess around with them at all. One thing that I will play around with is this input diffusion set of parameters and the low and high cut as well as the pre-delay. The first thing we'll do, let's chuck a bit of pre-delay on there. I really like pre-delay just to basically separate the dry signal out a little bit more. About 60 milliseconds is a good starting point, but anywhere between 60 and 80, I think is cool. Have a listen to the same thing, but with the pre-delay at 60 milliseconds. <laughs> And we'll split the difference and go to 70 milliseconds. Essentially, it's just going to offset the point that the ambient reverb kicks in there from your dry signal. So I like to hear the dry signal up front and then have that little bit of time where it just kind of separates it out. And I find it helps it sit in the mix a lot better. Another thing I like to do with this is you might like this with the high cut wide open, but you know, a lot of guitar players were chasing warm guitar sounds. And to me, warm just means lots of high cuts. So if we set the high cut to about 4K, and we'll go ahead and set the low cut to about 150 just to avoid any excess low end build up. This is what we get. And to me, this is the definition of warming something up. What it also means is you can turn the effect level up so you can make it wetter without it sort of interfering with your dry guitar signal, which I definitely like. The final parameter I want to tweak out is this input diffusion. We'll have a listen to the difference between 0 and 100%. <laughs> So that is basically smearing out 
the transients with the input, which I think, again, really helps for just kind of making this less of an obvious effect and more of like a texture. And for a lot of ambient music, it's a very much a textural exercise. So that is where I would set those. Uh, you can play around with the reverb size and the decay time, but I find the stock settings are just really nice. The only thing I might do is... Uh, add a bit of modulation. So if we go about 1.5 hertz, we'll have a listen to the difference between 0 and 100 on the modulation, and then we'll try to find the right place to set it in. Have a listen to this. The reason I chose 1.5 hertz as well is that's just like always been my go-to setting with chorus pedals and modulation. So uh, by all means, play around with the rate. But for what I like, I really like that there. We can also do auto swells on the reverb using this input envelope parameter here. So if you turn the threshold up, essentially this will set the point uh, where essentially the effect will activate. And then when it activates, we can set the attack time. So the time it takes for it to swell in. So if I set the threshold really high, basically we'll get nothing. And that's a really fun one to play around with. As you can see, depending on your guitar, depending on your setup, you're going to have to set the threshold and the attack to taste. But by all means, go away and have a bit of a play around with that one. Uh, I like it off most of the time, but if you're into reverb swells, it's really great. So here we are at the moment, high cut at 4K, low cut at 150. I've set these parameters here stock, and I've just played around with the input diffusion and added a bit of modulation. And uh, this is exactly what I want in an ambient reverb. I hope you guys enjoyed the little video here. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I'm going to play some uh, really lush chords for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Mm -hmm.